Hello everybody, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video. In this video, I will introduce the bootstrap framework. So, we will learn about the bootstrap framework. I will let you know guys about this framework. Bootstrap is the most popular XML, CSS, and JS framework for developing responsive mobile first project on the web. Okay? So, if you want to make the responsive web design, you can using the Bootstrap framework. This is uh, free. Okay? Designed for everyone and everywhere. Okay? So, Bootstrap makes the front end web development faster and easier. You just need to use the component from a uh, Bootstrap framework. Then you can make it easy and fast. Okay? Okay, guys, so Bootstrap is available to CSS, components, JavaScript. Okay, there's so much uh, three elements to developing your website using this framework. Okay, we're going to getting started. Now, you can download the Bootstrap. If you have now download this framework, you can download the bootstrap right here in the menu of getting started. Now you can see the download bootstrap right here. And then we will install the bootstrap in the next video. Okay. And we have the basic template right here. If you if you want to create the basic template, you can using this basic template from a Bootstrap framework, okay? And over here, we have the CSS. This, uh, this is like a component from a Bootstrap. This is um, for responsive and typograph. And the important things you need to know is grid system. Bootstrap have has a uh, twelve columns, where you can divide them by by the class is call md, call md, and call md. Okay, so the the example I have twelve columns, and I will. And I will divide it to three columns. So the basic things I need to do is only create the call md4, call md4, and the last is call md4. Okay. So the total is twelve columns, four, four, and four. It means twelve columns. Okay, so if you want to divide by two columns, the basic things you need to do is create the call md6 and the call md6, it's mean 12 of columns. Okay, how to use it? It like this it, you just need to create the div class row and then we just need to create the call md8 and call md4. The total is 12. Okay. You can you can create the overload columns and the maximum columns is 12. Okay. So in the in the outside of row outside of row we must create the container or container fit. Then inside the container, 
we create the row then column okay and the type of map bootstrap using the robot phone from our google fonts this is for our header one header two header three and uh, max okay and we have the forms right here for user input like a uh, login register like a uh, contact form or anything else okay bootstrap have the buttons class right here this is for default like a ghost of button and this is the primary button and the success button and any, anything else okay and then we have the IMAX steps right here for a circle, a rounded, and thumbnail. All of this for your picture in your website later. Okay, so we will create the image later. Okay, guys, and the next we have the components right here. We have the component right here you can use the icons for your website and we have the drop downs and we have the nav bar and we have the pagination timeline progress bar and anything else okay so in the next video we will install the bootstrap and of course we will create the portfolio using the bootstrap framework okay and we will see the javascript right here we have the transition we have the slider right here and we have the tabs and so much anything else guys okay it's only uh, introduction about the bootstrap okay so i think it's enough you just need to download the bootstrap right here and install it in the next video or you can using the my project i have prepared the my project for you so you don't need to download again you just need to download from my google drive then we can run using the my files from me okay okay guys so i hope you can understand this tutorial and if you have a question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment or a feedback it's make it's make me to improve my skill or my language okay so see you and goodbye